The stifling humidity coupled with the soft night mist descends upon her as her hair begins to kink up. The image of what she thought she was when she began her day slowly announces itself. With a half moon peeking through inked clouds, the unseen shackles on her wrists and ankles are now illuminated by the glow from the night sky. There are no street lights present along the James River. The twinkle in his eyes dance methodically like a candle flame. Heart beats to the pace of a warrior's drum. Tears trickle down his face like a candle wax into a colorless pool of blood. Bellowed by the air as if it fills his lungs with life, flaming of the fire ignited his soul. Overwhelmed by the stench of smoke, his, ex his existence struggles while now being snuffed out. The echo of her heels from her stilettos on the gravel creates a clacking sound of a racehorse in slow motion. The sound of rain with an erratic melody drops falling oh so hastily. Hood over her head, you can barely see her eyes. She crosses her arms quickly as if to rub her own shoulders and you sense the dampness has gotten into her bones. The rain was cold on this hot July evening. She's startled by the faces and places she passes so quickly. Laughing can be heard behind her back as the Willie Lynch legacy lives on. Wow. I see colors clashing and souls being mashed and meshing. Eyes with fingerprints on the lids. I see gel-tipped tongues made out of pens and I see women crying and men dying and I see potential kings digress into ordinary men. They have become mere shadows in the sunlight. I see queens who have been stripped of self-esteem wearing their crown jewels around their necks and sleeves. That which is negative, they wear like adorned cloth. Tattoos of things that come and go are emotional fads they don't believe in. Would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? <laughs> you see, these young ladies cannot sense me. I said, they hold emotional tattoos embedded of things that won't mean the same for the public to admire them, long after they wish it would go away. No legitimacy or story behind them. I see kings being shackled as born with a barcode. The law knows of their greatness, their lineage foretold. They get bred like horses, tagged, sold, and shipped out. Transferred and incarcerated because society sold them out. Queens would rule in their king's absence, yet today, it is no more. They are sleeping with the enemy. The queens refuse to live in a righteous fashion, provoking envy, associating themselves with drama and deceit, and all committing treason against their very own. No loyalty, no stability, and no holding down the fort. And our kings are being shipped away before they know their own identity, and those with potential are victims of stolen identity. Our kings need an army before they take their first breath, a clan of people around him to ensure and protect, more than one man to influence his behavior, and yet women are dual in this mental enslaver. Mom is mother and father, and yet father is never mother. And without balance and upbringing, he will kill his brother. Sisters are too weak to stand by their man, and men are too unforgiving to ever understand. Queens are lacking respect for themselves and their castle. Everyone under them, they decline to be higher. Self-esteem so low, they refuse to set trends. Preference is to have fashion dictated to them. Black men, know your worth and don't sell yourself short. You were made to rule this world. Black men, do you hear me? The whispers of your ancestors are proven statements of you being a king. Black woman, stand up. Poke your chest out and be straight. You are the descendant of queens. Hold down the kingdom, woman. Don't fraternize and be distracted by the parliament. It is a trick to get you to distract your attention from the household. Don't trust words more than actions. Look within for satisfaction. Your personal gratification cannot be bought or sold. 
educationally, your instincts earn you a master's. So master your instincts and get educated of stories untold. One ripple in the ocean doesn't sway our impression, yet strive to be a tidal wave that everyone questions. You can't give pearls to a pig. Queens have lost their prowess, and kings must sit by and watch it powerless. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> I got ready to go somewhere else with that. Slave quarters have been replaced by projects and low-income housing. Mega prisons, now the new old legalized plantations. Queen, you are beautiful, strong, and courageous, and we ruled and raised. He's so good. Ooh. I love him, I love him, yes, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah.